Good morning, Year 6. So here are your Friday morning activities. Okay, so as always, I would like you to choose one of the given tasks from this page and have a go at it. Please feel free to email me what you've been getting up to. So this week, we've got some different challenges again. Let's take a look at what they are. So your first challenge could be, can you create a bank of adjectives that describe how you have felt at different points of this week? So you need to reflect on the week. Think of adjectives that describe how you felt at different points. So for example, on Monday, you might have felt tired, okay? But on Friday, you might have felt elated because it's the end of the week, okay? If you were completing your home learning tasks, you might have felt excited because maybe it was something that you enjoyed to do. Or if you were playing outside on a trampoline or something, you might have felt um, tremendous, okay? Try and branch out with the adjectives that you use. Try not to use the, the common ones like good, bad, upset, happy. Okay, try and give some more challenging adjectives. Your second task would be to write a guide to year six for the year fives that are coming up to year six next year. You could give them some advice and tips from keeping calm throughout the year. Now you've all done very well this year at this. So you are all you would all be able to give some tips for how to keep calm throughout the year, okay? I think some of the year fives might need this because you will know yourselves going into year six is quite daunting. So this might be a nice task for you to do. Your next task could be to read a chapter from your home reading book or a book that you are reading and create five multiple choice questions about the book. So instead of answering comprehension questions, you could create some yourself about the book, okay? Try and think about the different um, types of comprehension questions you could answer. Is it a retrieval question? Is it an inference question? Okay, try and think about that when you are writing your multiple choice questions. And the final task that you could do, you could choose a room at home, any room, it doesn't matter. It could be your living room, it could be your kitchen, it could even be your garden and draw a picture to show how it makes you feel. So this is where you would maybe use your colours to help you. So if it makes you feel angry, you might colour it in red. If it makes you feel cold, you might colour it in blue. If it makes you feel happy, you might choose a happy colour to colour it in. Okay, think outside the box for this one. Don't just draw the room, draw how it makes you feel. So if it makes you feel happy, how can you draw happy? Okay. Please, again, as I've already said, once you've completed your task, email it to me so that I can have a look at what you've been doing. Good luck, Year 6. I'll speak to you soon.